गुड मॉर्निंग पुरुष भाई थैंक यू सवार सवार में तुमने उठाड़ी ने हम इंटरव्यू में हैरान कर गया ना मारो टाइम अच्छे आ 6:30 नो 6:00 नो टाइम छे એટલે વાંધો ન બરાબર છે ભાઈ તો આજે મે કેવું કેવું છે કે દિવસો રજાઓ આ રજાઓના કમ્પલસરી રજાઓના અને તમારા બહુ જ બિઝી શેડ્યુલ માંથી એકદમ આરામના દિવસો પૂરા ફીલ થઈ રહ્યા છે ઇનફેક્ટ આઈ વિલ ટેલ યુ ધેટ સ્ટાર્ટિંગ માં તો એવું લાગતું હતું કે આ શું કરશું શું કરશું એમ ટાઈમ કેવી રીતે જશે હમ ગ્રેજ્યુઅલી આઈ હેવ નોટ ઓન્લી એડજસ્ટેડ બટ નાઉ ઇનફેક્ટ આઈ લાઈક ધીસ પીરિયડ ઓલ્સો એન્ડ આઈ એન્જોય લાઈક એનીથિંગ ઇટ્સ અ બ્લેસિંગ ઇન ડિસ્ગાઇઝ રાઈટ મારે એક્ચ્યુઅલી મારે તમને બહુ વખત થી પૂછવું તું ને કોઈ એવો ચાન્સ નો તો પૂછાય પણ આ ધીસ ઇઝ ધી ચાન્સ વેર આઈ કેન આસ્ક ધીસ इंडिविजुअली समझो बोप्रोप्रिएट जो कई जरूर पड़े ते कर In fact, I have learned this from uh, my senior. Yes. Uh, I have joined uh, with him and I have seen him working like this with this very same pattern. Mm-hmm. Uh, ultimately, he never loses his temper. And if you lose the temper, it will affect you also gradually. Mm-hmm. Nice. So, clients who used to come from out stations, they are waiting for me for about an hour or a half an hour or one and a half hour. Mm-hmm. and if i don't give him 10 minutes or 15 minutes he will also feel bad right so i just try to please everybody and simultaneously myself also not to lose the temper right so ashwai how have you passed your childhood days how were you were you studious or uh, as if you, what you are now uh, no not at all i am in fact a very average student and uh, i was not liked by my parents because of my study mm-hmm. um, I have, we have four brothers. Mm-hmm. Elder one is a doctor. Mm-hmm. He was studious from beginning. Mm-hmm. Next to me, he is also an engineer at present, and he was also very studious. Mm-hmm. They all are in the grade of nineties, ninety fives. I am the only child in my family who is getting in very average, mm-hmm. about forty five, fifty. Fifty five is the highest. Right. So I was, I was told by my family members that since you have not read it during this entire period of your schooling, your college. Mm-hmm. therefore you are given a lesson to read every day from 6 to 9:30 daily uh ashish bhai was becoming advocate was your passion or you took it as a chance of uh, some alternative career mm, not alternative career in fact uh, i was told by my father always that this boy will not do anything except doing an advocacy because on those days see anybody who come in my family they just praise my elder brother because he was very studious mm-hmm. then younger one he was also very studious he once wants to go to become a doctor the other wants to become an engineer so whenever everybody looks at me they just stare that oh i so kar se ave aagade then my father used to take me to the courts just for a fun and i there after gradually develop interest also and in fact i have started attending the courts in my college days from the first year of bcom mm-hmm. so by that means i have also developed the interest and i like this field therefore right. i have joined and right actually and you may uh, were you were you regularly attending your law schools or you were casual in that no no very honestly in fact i have not attended a single day in the college Mm-hmm. not a single day except exam to exam i we used to attend the office of the advocate where i was start i have started my practice mm-hmm. and uh, i i'll just tell you one incident yes i should be i uh, mm-hmm. myself and my colleague mr pravin we were both were together in a elisha college law college mm-hmm. so on those days there is a letter sent by the college who those students who are not regular we have also got the letter from the college and we were called in the college with the parents mm. both of us we have got the letter 
Hmm. I became a guardian of my college for a bit. <laughs> he became a guardian of mine. And then we went to the college. Uh, that was the first day when we entered the college actually. <laughs> and the principal and the, the teacher, they asked us, that, where is your class? Yeah. We both looked at each other. <laughs> and then we said that the class is on that side. Uh, that, that was a separate building. There is no law college there. Right. And we were scolded like anything. <laughs> So we never went to the college, but of course this should not have been done. But because of the fact that I am attending the course regularly, so I was not used to be there in the college. Correct. Ajay, who have you started working with during your college days? Who was your senior then? Sorry. Who was your senior then? Who whom have you started working during your college? I I have joined my practice with uh, Yogesh Lakhani. Mm -hmm. And in fact, my half of the life is uh, with him. Right. Uh, I was with him uh, till he closed his office. Mm -hmm. So the day on which I started my practice, uh, I was with him. Mm -hmm. In fact, much earlier, I joined him in the second year of BCom. Right. Then my full three years of LLB. Mm -hmm. Then one year of training. Mm -hmm. Then uh, starting with him till he ends his office. So I was the last one who leave the office. Right. Anyway, what are the qualities of Yogesh Bhai that you appreciate and admire and you adopt within you minus the patience and temper that you have said? What other qualities that you admire? We, I have, in fact, I have observed him uh, not only from the day on which I started the practice, but even prior there too also. He used to give us the key of the office. Mm. That whenever you want to come, you just sit here, you study here, you study the case laws. Mm. He also used to discuss with us mm. that the moment I have seen him arguing the matters in the courts, how he handles the courts, how he reacts to the courts, how he responds to the queries, the way on which he actually argues on the facts of the case, on the law points. Mm. So all needs are very dedications to the works, very mm. hard working. And he never displeased the clients also. Mm. So these are all the qualities of a person who is a really gentleman. And he never, I, in fact, I during this my period of 22, 22 years with him, I have never seen him in aggression more towards the junior or even towards to his colleagues. Right. So, sir, I should be how he used to, I mean, sometimes he loses temper to juniors for the work they do not perform. How he used to convince that without, you know, losing the temper? It happens. In fact, I also, it happens sometimes because the you, you estimated that this matter is to be projected like this only. Mm -hmm. Or if you find that he is not prepared and he is not ready to uh, prepare himself. Mm -hmm. So on that, such occasions, I used to ask them, I used to scold them also mm -hmm. that you just be prepared. You just be, make an endeavor at least to read, to understand and then to submit before the court. Mm -hmm. Don't stand before the court without reading the papers. Mm -hmm. So by passage of time, in fact, I also lose my temper some occasions. Ultimately, it would be in his interest. Correct. If he read properly, mm -hmm. if he submit the properly before the court, mm -hmm. it is he who will get a benefit out of the same. Right. Ashish, any incident that you recollect with uh, Yogesh Bhai's office, which you take it throughout your life, any incident, any occasion that you carry along? There are so many instances. In fact, uh, uh, with him, since I have said I was spent about 20 years with him. So my half of the life was with him. And uh, there are a lot many incidents whereby he not only encourages us, but also give us full leverage mm -hmm. of uh, all nature of working. Yeah. Uh, I should be. Uh, I will tell you. Uh, yes. 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 No, no. Go ahead. Yes, yes. No, go ahead. You are telling something. I uh, don't know. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, I should be any specific matter that has transformed, transformed your career or your attitude towards the profession? Uh, in fact, mm, I used to associate myself with the briefs, not with the clients, mm. but that would not be an, in fact a good sign. But I 
used to so much of attach with the briefs and the facts of the case mm. and i anticipated that this matter has to be resolved in a particular way only mm. this would be very dangerous for a for a professions by passage of time now in fact i have learned mm. that our job is to make our complete satisfactions of the work submit before the court on the facts and the law points mm. but not to associate ourselves Hmm. I'll just remind of one of such incident where I was arguing the matter for an accused who was in jail. Hmm. It was a bank fraud. There are so many accused. Hmm. For him, the court was not inclined; it was not accepted. Afterwards, the other accused who have played a more role, they were considered. I filed an, it again. Still, the court was not inclined. I I was very much disturbed because of this and. Uh, the court has granted liberty you come after 3 months again after 3 months i have filed but the the day on which i got an order in that matter i feel that i should not have been so much of attached to the clients like this or to the matters like this right it will it will infect hurts also hmm. but it happens i don't know how but it happens hmm. ashby whom you consider your idol or mentor other than uh... Yogesh Bhai, of course. So Yogesh Bhai is your idol and mentor. But any other person other than Yogesh Bhai? In fact, I used to observe everything in the court also. Whenever I find that he is a junior or he is a colleague or he is a senior who are arguing the matters like anything, they are fully prepared either on facts, on law, and on all other points. Hmm. I, in fact, consider him as a mentor because ultimately it's a learning profession. you will learn something if you observe mm. and i always used to ask my colleagues that you even if the court work is over be there in the court till 5 o'clock mm. just sit there just observe mm. if your matter is coming on the next day you just be there on the earlier day in that court room mm. you will get something from that mm. so it it will in fact change every day wherever i found something that it's, it is a very good sign of advocacy mm. i consider him is my mentor true Two or three. Great. Ashwini, uh, when was you independently first time appear before the court, and were you nervous during that first appearance? I will be very honest. In fact, uh, I was very much nervous, and in fact, I could not sleep properly. <laughs> On the earlier night, I could not sleep even properly. Mm -hmm. I wake up in the morning. I, my singer has given me the brief. Mm -hmm. I have taken the brief to the court. Mm. the court time was 11 o'clock but i was there at 10:30 mm. i was just moving around here and there i was i in fact made a practice set also in my at my residence in front of the mirror i stand i make in some submissions then look at the face of myself <laughs> uh, the court starts at 11 mm. the matters are called out one after the other my matter was also called out i just stood up mm. and say please sir before i said anything the court had issued the notice mm. i came out <laughs> and my senior and also asked me what happened okay. i could not even respond what happens <laughs> so till the time he, he said me that it is only a restoration application mm. you don't have to make anything mm. you just submit to the court <laughs> but it, it was a very i was shivering my hands were also very tight right how have you actually overcome that situation what process that you undertook to overcome that situation but in fact i was in the court room daily i for even for arguments also the day on which i started the practice i have not seen a single day where i have not argued the matter so by passage of time by experience the you you just free with the courts to make your submissions you the moment you get the response also then you have more confidence so by that time and by that way i in fact clear all those hurdles right ashwini mm -hmm. after yogesh bhai closed down his office how difficult was it for you to become independent and start independent practice in fresh in fact i never thought that i'll be starting practice at my own right and uh, i also in fact conveyed him yogesh bhai that why you are close down the office mm. let me be with you in the office mm. till the time you want to practice mm. he said no no i don't want to practice more and uh, i also see that 
you juniors will be grow more you have your own practice you have your own office mm. i have also started my office i don't know how i will cope up with that circumstances but by the time the new clients came the orders were made ultimately i set up everything and now i am also having my own team of the advocates with me it was a difficult time but we here we have passed through that period also right ajish bhai uh, you have associated with various juniors and new juniors are regularly coming in your office what do you expect in the education uh, legal education now and what changes you expect in the juniors to inculcate within themselves coming to the profession in fact i have observed that since last couple of years now the juniors are more trained they are more eager to read also and to to prepare their matters like they wants to argue at their own barring few the others are doing well they are also preparing themselves i like the advocates or the juniors who prepare the matter well i don't expect the result from them true because it is for the court to decide true but it is for the advocate to present the case at a full level with all preparations on facts on law mm. he has not to fumble when the queries were made to him mm. i always ask them that you prepare yourself mm. if anything if any query is there we will be sit together we will finalize we will deal with the same mm. but don't afraid to go to the court right just stand before him mm. and if you can stand before him the court for 30 minutes it means that you have prepared yourself it means that you have gotten some clue over the matters right but they you there are there are some advocates also who don't want to prepare i i don't know why they are they want some easy money very fast way right uh, the profession of an advocate needs an at least 10 years labor and if those 10 years you initial 10 years you will labor like anything then you will get a result out of the same mm. you don't expect on the very first year a luxurious car or in your own office mm. or a row of juniors mm. it it takes some labor mm. the success would not come automatically true so what changes you uh, you propose to be made in the legal education system present legal education system uh in fact at the time when we passed through the llb examinations those days those colleges now everything is changed and there are so many subjects there are so many new avenues for say for example of corporate laws or any other specialized branches also there i think if anybody who wants to join the profession if he is asked at the beginning that on which side or on which branch you want to go and he would he would be allowed to focus on that if they wants to be a criminal lawyer or a civil lawyer or a corporate lawyer then he would be given a class of education education which would be benefited him at the time when he actually come to the court or actually started his own practice right ashish bhai uh, nowadays students are more uh, inclined to go towards corporate or legal firms rather than to coming to the profession and bright student usually been absorbed by the corporate or legal firms what do you advise to them to come to the litigation see there are more uh, revenue on that side true even sitting in the office also you will get a substantial fees in a corporate law or in a corporate law the case is where a case of merger or a case of making of an agreement everything is to be done from the office only okay. but at the same time you will get a handsome amount of fees right but this would not be getting by every advocate hmm. a few persons or a few class of persons who will get the same in fact our is our this advocate profession is only a noble profession if you want to join the advocate or you if you want to become an advocate it is a noble profession it is not a business it is not a 
place where you have to get a profit out of the sale. Right. By your noble act, right. you will get whatever right. the remuneration you are being paid by the clients. Right. Ashish, uh, have you ever had an instance when matters are being briefed and you find that there is no merits in the matter? And if how do you react to that uh, client? In fact, it is not. Uh, the clients are also well aware about the facts, about the case which they are coming with. They have an expectation, but it would be better if you just inform in front of him or at least explain them that these are the loopholes. These are the facts which would be might got might get on against you also. Correct. Correct. And they were aware, in fact. But if you if you just uh, please them by saying that no, no, you have a very good case, we'll manage everything, we'll do everything, that would not be a good advocacy. True. You have to just bring him to his notice that these are the loopholes, these are the facts against you. The court is also strict. There may be a result in your favor or may not be in your favor. Right. But at least you should bring to his notice. Ashish uh, did you, uh, uh, how do you prepare a matter? What method do you adapt to prepare a matter? matter? I have taken the same style of my senior. In fact, I used to wake up in the morning and I used to read my all cases in the morning only from 6 o'clock to 9.30. Hmm. I, uh, whenever any file, I just open my file. I, since I interact with the clients, I know the facts. But then while reading the matters with page wise, I never left any page unread. I hurriedly also what I used to read. So by passage of time, by experience and by dealing with the matters daily in this much of volume, I knew where the facts lies. I knew the where the law stands. And it took about 10 to 15 minutes for me to prepare the matter every day, each of them. And even if I read the matter once, if it is adjourned, next time also I used to read, but the period could be decreased from 15 minutes to 10 minutes or 5 minutes. But I used to go through the same. Okay. By passage of time, you will get speed over the same and you can prepare yourself accordingly. Ashish, you know, I have seen you easily uh, managing your cause list, your board daily, and you actually could accept almost all the matters. How do you manage that? Because you have a list of more than 20 35 matters in a day. So how do you manage to attend? Uh, I, it would be very difficult in fact. But I have a uh, number of advocates with me. We, I used to accept the same pattern which my junior, my senior was, he was doing. We had a class of advocates in my office. Some who are dealing with criminal matters. Some who are dealing in civil matters. Some who are making drafting. So in the evening, whenever the board comes, we used to distribute the matters. Right. And wherever the requirement is there, wherever he finds uncomfortable, I used to appear there straightway at the time when the matter was in fact actually arguing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. right. It makes some difficult at the time when someone is absent. Mm -hmm. So I'll be getting more load if somebody is not there. Right. But it manages. Uh, in fact, the courts are also very uh, generous to either have the matter in the second half or keep back for once. Mm. Because ultimately they are also knowing the fact that I will be there. Mm. I will not uh, take a time or to leave the court as it is. I mm. will be there at the, in the second half or in the second round. Mm. So it gets managed. It is a tough time. Right. Ashish Bhai, what are your daily routine? Uh, how do you start your day and till what time you work? And uh, how do you manage to maintain your energy throughout your day? Oh, it is, in fact, this, on this point, there are so many troubles at my home also. Uh, my routine is very... In fact, I, I have, for initial, I just inform my wife once that for, 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 for 10 years, you have to just forgive me. Initial 10 years, I used to work from 6 o'clock to 11.30 night. 
six mm -hmm. o'clock to eleven thirty night initial ten years. Then gradually I reduce the period of working, but my timing is same of six o'clock in the morning. Now in the night I'll reduce. I'll have I'll come to ten thirty ten o'clock. <laughs> 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 But the habit of reading the mattress and not to appear before the court if you are not ready, right. that would help us. Right. So, Ashish, what is your diet schedule? How do you manage to maintain your diet as well? Oh, that would not be liked by any by so many advocates because I used to be have a very simple diet and I normally I used to take my dinner at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Normally, if it is uh, feasible or if it is convenient, mm -hmm. then six o'clock. Then, when I went to the office, I will be fresh because I have taken the dinner. Right. Then, at the end, uh, I take a glass of milk. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the morning, also two rotis, two chapatis, everything, but not of a uh, solid uh, food. Right. Very light. Right. Ashwin, what are your other hobbies? What are your interests in other other interests in? In fact, this lockdown has developed all my interest now. Uh, reading. In fact, I used to read religious book. Mm -hmm. I have. I had so many occasions when I at the night early. I used to read those religious books. Mm -hmm. I would love to have a music mm -hmm. and. Uh, a fun with the family. So this time I in this lockdown I have achieved all the th these three things. Right. Mm -hmm. so, uh, any message that you would like to give to the legal fraternity at this stage during lockdown? Uh, nobody has accepted this uh, lockdown or uh, nobody knows that when it would be everything would be general. But you must notice one thing that, that by passage of time, that everyone has adjust now. Correct. Whenever you are at your home, you just utilize your time. You have your old files or old briefs. Mm. Sometimes you don't have a time to prepare the matter fully mm. when the court hours are on, when the, the regular routines are on. Mm. Say for final reading matter, you don't have time to read it thoroughly. Mm. Now these are the only time when you can go through the matters fully. Hmm. Prepare it fully. Hmm. You can also have a new avenue of uh, reading of uh, old your books or hmm. to develop your hobbies. Right. But after lockdown, you will be shine like an anything. Right. With that strategy of mind, if you start, then you will get everything. Right. Ajay, do you still miss? I mean, you miss your office, your chair, and the clients all around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in fact, initially, yes, I was not used to this that I'll be in the home for a whole time to come and not doing anything. <laughs> I, in fact, one or two days also initially I went there in the office. In the entire complex, nobody is there. Mm. Not a single person is there in the entire office complex. I was the only person. Mm. Then I came with the books at home. Then gradually I adjust everything. Then Ultimately, now the scene is that I like the situation. <laughs> I enjoy it like anything. I'll be with my family. I'll be with them. And uh, we have a fun like anything. My routine is also very uh, usual. Taking some exercise. Hearing the new music. Mm -hmm. Then sitting with uh, my wife for uh, about two hours mm -hmm. daily. And we used to chat everything. So these are the things which I have never expected in my life. It right. is only because of the lockdown I have achieved everything. Right, Ashish. Thank you, Ashish, for for sparing time with us. Thank you so very much, Ashish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Purush. It's my pleasure. Thank you.